fun fact I don't know if you guys are, are aware of this I'm the first Indonesian comedian to do a stand up tour actually or do you do it on stage because a lot of people they like to kind of no, figure it out on no, stage no 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 that's one of the biggest misconceptions about stand up so <laughs> all the people working for us not as talent as, as staff mm -hmm. they cannot turn off their blue checks on whatsapp don't speak, don't, 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 don't breathe! Yeah. Don't breathe! Oh. Don't breathe! Wow, we got yes. it! <laughs> what's, what's the last oh movie you guys God. saw? The last movie? Um, the last movie? In cinemas? <laughs> yeah. I went and watched... Uh, Barbie? No, no. The, the big Megalodon. With Jason oh, Statham. Uh, Meg. Meg, <laughs> Meg, two. Meg 2. Meg 2. Wow. Um, I saw Oppenheimer a few weeks ago. Oh, I that saw awesome. that. It was very good. But you seen that? Uh, my last one was uh, quite, it's uh, quite a while actually. It's Spider Man, uh, Spider Verse. I mm. watched it twice. It's very good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Didn't get to see Oppenheimer and Barbie was in the middle of something that time. Okay. So you guys do a lot of movies, huh? Like watch a lot of movies. I, I, I didn't do. normally, and recently I've been going on YouTube and watching these movie recaps. So uh, it just tells you about the movie. That's cheap. yeah. TikTok are full of them. Yeah, hooked on and I really, I was yeah. like, I'm liking this because I don't. So you don't even like, watch the actual movie? I can't. I can't waste two hours watching a <laughs> oh movie. Come on. I can't. I'm. I, what did you gain from that knowledge? Because like, now I can win the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That, that brings up an interesting topic. Like social media has condensed our attention span. Mm -hmm. Obviously, exactly. We yeah. grew up in the old days of yeah. TV, and yeah. now our TV is all there. I mean, yeah. you as a, a creator, are you keeping in mind the, the, the changing attention spans it's, of everyone? It doesn't really affect me as a, as a, a filmmaker because when people go to movies, they still have that mindset of sitting still mm -hmm. and enjoying the ride, right? But as mm -hmm. a creative entrepreneur in general, mm -hmm. we have to be aware of that, like the very short attention span yeah. and how you how you know uh, you know better how to you know like to draw attention like in the first oh. not even three seconds i can say like one second one like second. you have to like have something like very early like everything has to be fast paced and everything right. you throw out as a promotion material has to be very mm. it has to be very you cannot go low key it has to be very noisy and, mm -hmm. and you know dynamic and stuff yeah, yeah you have to be you have and then, to go and down then for, for, an for, excerpt now, for now from your movie you take a nice conversational point and yeah. Get a grab for about a minute. Yeah. Right? yeah even 30 the, seconds. Yeah. 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 That's the way it is. That's the way it is. The music uh, industry's done that too. Yeah. They no lo No one makes all film TikTok clips. songs. <laughs> well, well, you don't make a three minute film clip anymore. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you take a one minute music video clip and then you add some sort of hmm. weird hook to it at the start. Hmm. It's not gonna. You're not straight into <laughs> the it. The thing that really bugs the musician is when they you know, up tempo the songs. You know, oh, they, they speed up. The speed up. <laughs> well, they speed up all the like old ABBA songs. It's really, and, like, yeah. it's really annoying yeah. for the musicians. Yeah. How did you, know, you get into the uh, the about. movie business? <laughs> I began the movie business by doing a role as an actor first. Uh -huh. uh, naturally, stand-up comedians uh, ask us to play comedic roles, right. and then. I wrote a book. Um, it's basically a, um, an adaptation of my stage bits, and mm -hmm. then it became a bestseller. And right. like most other bestsellers' book, uh, the producers came looking, and then they offered me a gig. Uh, offered me to adapt the book, but this producer is quite unique because he wants me to direct it. To which I said, "I'm not a director. I never learned about yeah. directing. I'm yeah. just an actor. I'm just a stand-up comedian." But he said. I think judging from your stage act and reading your book, I think you have a knack of uh, storytelling. So I think mm, yeah. I think you can pull it off. That's what, that's what he said. So yeah. I end up staying eight years working with him as my producer. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Wow. That's how I started. Guys, that's a testament to believing in yourself. You know, if you get given an opportunity that someone thinks you can do it, then mm. yeah. Like I believe Joe could be a great stand-up. Yeah. And I didn't know I believe that actually in my heart. I do believe if I did it, I would do it well. But I'm, I got to get past that writing thing. I, and I, you've given me some inspiration yeah. to yeah. do that. You yeah. know what I always say? It's not motivation that gets you anywhere. Yeah. It's action. Mm -hmm. You just got to put yourself in the position and yeah. actually do it. And when you start writing, yeah. it just flows. No, well, we don't have to talk about me this whole podcast. <laughs> Ernest, we can talk about you. What do you think about me? <laughs> 
Sorry. <laughs> he's a really he's funny guy. He's <laughs> always a really funny he, guy. He's quirky. Yeah, he, he's very funny. He, he's the quip guy. It, it's yeah, on. You're talking about very witty. Um, very witty. Um, um, do you have a favorite role that you did or a favorite? Um, I don't really enjoy movie? my. I mean, I mean, it's a journey. It's a journey I do and I learn and I I I, I draw a lot of experience from it. But after trying out different positions like actor, writer, producer, director, I think. Being an actor is my least favorite mm. uh, role to do. Yeah, very structured, mm-hmm. right? I mean, mm. I, guess I think it's business. very uh, compared to directing, writing, and um, writing, directing, and producing. I think and the actor part. First of all, I think I'm not that good of an actor. Secondly, I think it's quite limited in in terms of I have to do what others exactly want me yeah. to do. Like it's not your creation. It's exactly yeah, not yeah. my creation. Okay. So I think it's. I have a very big room to express my thoughts and myself by mm-hmm, being yeah. the writer or director. So, right. Right. Yeah. Listen, we've got a few questions. Like at school when you grew up, I mm. mean, what what inspired you to, you know, get into the game? Uh, I was I was raised in the era of uh, we call it the Orde Baru era, oh, where yeah, the Chinese order, yeah. people are quite oppressed at that time. Mm, yeah. We are not allowed to celebrate <clears throat> the Chinese New Year. <clears throat> yeah, there was a time where J- Indonesia was like that, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 Chinese names were made to be exactly have Indonesian names. Yeah, my dad uh, yeah. had to change his name because his his birth name was a Chinese name, and he purposefully didn't give me a Chinese name because he think it get me into more harm than good. Mm-hmm. So he just gave me an Indonesian name. <laughs> He okay. knew it wouldn't, wouldn't bring me anything good, so just give this kid an Indonesian Wait, name. You just got so, married. You you should have an Indonesian name, right? No, Did you, not by you get law. That? Doesn't, no. doesn't the wife take the name of the husband? No, but I thought every no. bule that gets married gets given like a. No. I'll take a name. one. I'll take one if it's out there. Cha cha. Slamat. Slamat. Do you like Slamat? <laughs> Slamat. Slamat. As in like, you know. Slamat. Congrats. Yeah, oh, Slamat. Yeah, Slamat. I'll, take, Slamat. I'll take booty. That's booty. a good one. Booty. 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 With a booty. D or with a T? <laughs> yeah. The double O. Yeah. I mean, I mean listen, I, I've done an Islamic marriage. Yeah. And I, I was under the impression that, yes, maybe I have to take on an Islamic mm, name. And, yeah. and, and I've always been a fan of Hassan. Hassan. Oh, that's a good one. You know? a very classic. Yeah, 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 you think so? Yeah. yeah. So uh, when, I was in, yeah. Uh, when I was in uh, junior high, I mean, it, started, uh, it started out in the elementary, but it, get, it, it got worse in junior high. So I was bullied quite bad. As a mm. as a minority, as a Chinese kid, yeah. so I was like spending my adolescent trying to fit in. Like, why am I different, and why do they treat me different? And, mm. and you know, going through that phase, up until my dad seems to like ran out of ideas on finding a solution for me. He plucked me out and put me in his former school in. Kota, which is in the Chinatown where I became majority. Mm. <laughs> Finally, oh. I became the majority. So how many <laughs> Chindos were in your first school? Ah, oh, it's very few. Like in, in the class of 40, maybe two or three. Oh, yeah, right. like 10% yeah. Yeah. Chindo. And then you went to And majority. went to a Chinese okay. Chinese um, school where most of, uh, most of the children were Chinese. Yeah. But the, 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 the heartache, maybe? That's mm-hmm. the right term. It, it 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 persists quite. It lingers up until actually up until stand up. I really hate being called a ko. You know, ko is like yeah, koko, koko, koko. Because it's like the abang for abang for Chinese, Chinese oh, Indonesian, right, like right, yeah. so. It because it it's not derogatory. Up, no, it's, it's not derogatory. It's the That's a thing. Yeah. It's like, not derogatory. It's like ba, yeah. But ba, for me, it's yeah. like it's there's a whole lot of baggage in that syllable. You know, like, mm-hmm. it brings out the all the times when I was being different mm-hmm. like why don't you just call me mas or ka? don't you don't have to call me ko because right. i'm not different than you guys because there's there's the trauma and the and the, the scar and then it all went away when i started doing stand-up oh. so a lot of us a lot of us stand-up comedians we heal through through comedy laughing of course, at yeah. ourselves with the audience the damaged Comedian, the damaged <laughs> comedian. Yeah. So you talk about the old times, a lot of I yeah. guess self-deprecating style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, oh exactly. God. So you laugh with it, and then it's it it slowly goes away. So everyone calls me Kono. I don't. There's no baggage to it. There's no like certain weight to it. It mm. just it's just a it's just a you know it's just somebody calling you. Yeah. And, and that time period, the '90s, 
you know, the and, 90s, and yeah. then the, 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 the switch in 98, things got better for for you. Is that true? Did, did things improve for Chindo community? I think forward? generally it does. The, yeah. the, the change of an era from the Orde Baru to the Reformasi, it did it did bring change, like some yeah. symbolic things. Like, for instance, the Imlek, then you can now celebrate freely. And mm -hmm. there's still, of course, um, past histories of discrimination and everything it's 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 being passed down generation to generation because it it it's better now but you can't say that it's gone you know mm -hmm. but it's can't way better yeah it's, it's way, way better. better now it's way better now because the chinese indonesian are now all over the place i mean like you have like pa ahok used to be politician mm -hmm. and yeah, then you have yeah. you used, it's it, it used to be really uh, rare to see chinese um entertainers on television mm. yeah in really. the 90s right you like there's so few, so few. but yeah. now we can easily find Chinese uh, singers, entertainers, comedians. So it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's getting a lot better now. Mm. Yeah, that's great. Mm. Who's that other guy? Uh, Brian, Rich Brian, Rich Brian, He's the the rapper. Yeah, Rich. <clears throat> Brian. I saw one of his videos recently because I didn't know much about him. I knew he was like an Indonesian rapper. It's crazy man. And I saw this one video. I forget what it was. Yeah. It was so good. Like the the production of it and everything. Mm. Can't remember the name of it though. Does anybody remember the name of the, his most popular video? <laughs> ah, sorry, Brian. Well, we had a guest. We had a guest on the show the other day, Inda G, and she's. Really I saw. Popular. I saw. She's a. Is she Indonesian though? She speaks very fluent English. Well, that That's was what a we lot discussed. Of discussion. She is a hundred percent Indonesian. Yeah. Yeah. Oh really? She just, maybe she's. She go through like international schools mm -hmm. all the way. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, she talked a lot about you know her, her Chindo identity being obscured and everything, yeah, but yeah. you know that's it's positive to hear that things are on. Uh, I guess an uphill trend in terms yeah, of it yeah. is. acceptance. It, is. It, is. it seems like uh, the scapegoatism has been so mm. there since the beginning, you know, mm. even in Malaysia and, and mm. countries surround, there's always been, oh, the, the, yeah. the Chinese yeah. seem to monopolize. Yeah. And yeah. that's why... It also has something to do with the Cold War, believe it or not. Really? It did. Yeah, because the, the, the Indonesian, the Sukarno, right? If yeah. you have heard of our first yeah. president, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's really close to the to the... Communist. Yeah. So when the uh, the Suharto era uh, uh, yes, came to fruition, and yeah. then the U.S. like CIA. good friends, <laughs> 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 not my words. <laughs> the American at the table mentioned it. <laughs> so they want to distant the Indonesian yeah. from the yeah. communists. So they, you know, they demonize the Chinese, yeah. and, and that's that affects us as well. Let's bring it back to comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I, love, I love the up and down. You know? uh, I, think, I love yeah. the up and down. Sometimes it's hot. Sometimes it's cold. Yeah. Um, have you ever done comedy in Malaysia as well, or like Singapore? Have you ex uh, like in Southeast Asia? There's this one out? event where uh, we were invited as a group of Indonesian comics in Malaysia, but we performed <clears throat> in pretty much Indonesian. So there's a festival in KL mm -hmm. years yeah. back, but I don't do inter. We, we have like specific group of comics who do like the international gigs. Yeah. Like, yeah those people, it's usually those people, Annie Yang, one of them. Uh, yeah, you know Annie well, do you? Uh, not mm -hmm. really, like, you know, colleagues. You've seen her perform. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Met her that. I, I, she, she performed something called, I think it was like, her, her show was called Whore <laughs> or or slut. I can't oh, remember. It's, I, it's whore 101. Whore 101. Yeah. Whore 101. <laughs> and it was, she was the headline act. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was maybe a year and a half ago. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm just watching going, oh my God. Like, <laughs> If she, if she performed this in you know traditional yeah. Indonesia, yeah. She, yeah. She, I don't know. I don't but that's the thing, though, that. Indonesian like people are quite um, like we had. I don't know if you heard, we just had a uh, stand up fest. Mm -hmm. So it's this huge event of yeah. stand up comedy. So it's basically it's not a pure commercial event because it's made uh, it's held by our community. So it's where it's like a celebration of our ongoing progress of uh, stand-up comedians all over Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So we came, we we're being paid like, you know, very little, but we do like a festival of uh, three days of festival. Mm -hmm. And then people are performing there. And the f interesting is people are quite aware that they are, they're also the, the audience that all 3000 of them, they're quite aware that they're also playing an important role in preserving the arts. Mm -hmm. If you record the things uh. that, that was being <laughs> yeah. brought on stage on yeah, that event, yeah, yeah. 
we would have a lot of our comedians behind bars right now. <laughs> but people are quite aware of that. I mean, they want to enjoy the, they want to preserve. Yeah. So they, they just watch it. We, we, of course, we tell them not to record, but 3,000 yeah. people can always like. Don't, don't they have those like bag, like Joe Rogan does no, it, no, no, CK, no. or yeah, Chappelle yeah. does it, where they yeah. put it in a bag yeah, yeah, and yeah. they carry uh, the bag with them? And, yeah. yeah. Not, not in the, not in tennis indoors and I know. Right, right. It would be too, too much, much of a hassle. Yeah. yeah. 3,000 But what happens in there, it should be sacred. You know, exactly. Did you see uploads? Do people respect the comedy? Sometimes there's clips of uh, very little, though. I mean, Sometimes there's clips of people just want to show <coughs> how fun it is, like oh, the part okay. where people are just clapping fun, fun. and people yeah. are opening their act, not right. like, like it's not the, the full not, five not minutes. Not like the full. Yeah. Uh, I think Choki mentioned when he was on the podcast about something where he has an event where there's no phones mm. and everyone sings, and yeah. it's it's almost like. I don't know. You just like, you, you, you can escape the social media world for the night by just yeah, having a phone free night, and everyone yeah. just does karaoke. Yeah, I forget what the name of it, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, phones are ruining yeah. pretty much all entertainment right now. That's one. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah, the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever made a clarification video? Because <laughs> I have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, you don't have to talk about no. that. No, 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 no. It's interesting. Maybe I can uh, share a thing or two uh, for further references for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. Bye bye, Ibu. So, sh- I'm at the I actually have. That's me. have <laughs> what, what, what was your problem? Oh, what I just was... make him as a joke. <laughs> Oh, okay. And it was one time I had to apologize to Malaysia because I, I constantly get in trouble with Malaysia because they don't know me, so I make videos making fun of Malaysia and they're okay. like, Who, who's yeah, this guy? Yeah, this is, this is where your sarcasm is not red. Yeah, yeah. because they don't know me. They don't get it. They don't get it. Yeah. So I haven't made a, a clarification. But I have made a few of, uh, of clarification tweets because most of my problems came in Twitter. Yeah, okay. Because mm. that's hell, basically. <laughs> yeah. So what I learned is if one day you guys get into some sort of a problem with the it'll happen eventually netizens <laughs> oh. if this is a big if okay not yeah. when this is yeah. a matter of if not when yeah. so i for my experience for my numerous experience that is there's like only a three things to be done mm. one is to delete that problematic tweet mm-hmm. Don't serve your ego and say, ah, you're a coward. See, he's guilty. He's deleting it. No, just if that is the problem, delete delete it. it. Okay, Okay. that's the first one. Mm -hmm. Second one, apologize truthfully. Some people (laughs) don't know how to apologize properly, right? I'm uh, very sorry for the circumstances I caused. Like, you know, like. I'm sorry you're offended. Yeah, I'm sorry (laughs) because the people are getting very, you know, just. I'm Crap. sorry I said it. I I must I mustn't I must not said those kind of things. I'm very sorry. I learned from my mistake and I'll try my best not to do it again. Just uh-huh. like simple plain old traditional yeah. approach, okay? Yeah. I think that works here. Mm-hmm. I, if I was an American, I was I was famous, I probably would just say no apology because it doesn't matter. If you apologize, people are going to say it wasn't sincere. Oh, like okay. Yeah. It yeah. still counts to to right, right because there's two kinds of people right. This is why apology matters for me. There are two mm-hmm. kinds of people: people who are they just want to see you go down. Yeah, like they just hate you. They just don't like how you view the world. They don't just mm-hmm. they don't like your political statements. Mm-hmm. They don't like they don't your, like themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they don't mm-hmm. like your perspective, your statements. Yeah. and mm-hmm. some people are nice people who are genuinely offended. Right. Yeah. So the apologies for these people. Mm-hmm. So I really believe there are just neutral people. They don't really hate you. Mm-hmm. They don't need to hate you, but they are offended. Yeah. So you need to apologize. Yeah. So that's the second thing. The third thing is to take some time off. Mm. Because if Step you away. don't, you'll mm. get, you know, you'll Step, get yeah. some people hate. could really, you know, push your buttons and yeah, you know, yeah. just take some time <laughs> off and then totally, <laughs> I totally relate. And then and then if this is a number four and then you return and act like nothing happened. Right. Yeah. Just talk about football. <laughs> talk Absolutely. about politics. You talk yeah. about the weather. Because people, yeah. I, at least in Indonesia, it seems people love to move on to the next thing very yep. quickly. That, very the, quickly. The social media, you know, 
what's the word we've just been desensitized yeah. so much yeah. it's like yeah. oh what's the next fad we yeah, can yeah, just yeah, hate yeah exactly yeah, it, 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 it takes quicker now for people to forget so yeah. your your time off the platform should be quicker now as uh-huh. opposed to like a few years yeah. suggestion is to yeah just disappear apologize and yeah. disappear is yeah. probably yeah. That's, that's the only way to do it yeah. yeah that is the way to do it <laughs> you've, you've never gone on video and video no did, no, no, no video just, no just text a nice firm just text. text just text a real apology like yeah. a proper <laughs> Well written apology. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. it won't work otherwise. I mean, people will find people will find out. People can sense that you're not mm-hmm. really apologizing. So just might as well. If you wanna do, if you wanna apologize, just apologize truthfully. Otherwise, don't do it at all. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's what we learned mm-hmm. when um, Chucky came on. Some of his dark humor is well <laughs> and truly. Chucky, <laughs> Chucky's got into some serious troubles. <clears throat> yes, yes. Yeah. He looks. He his he his was way worse than mine. All right. Well, it's game time again. <laughs> One more game. We got another game. And this then, is a game where you're going to be the judge. Yeah. Me, the judge. You're going to say who got closest. Okay. Um, we're going to see some Indonesian movie posters, mm. and we're going to take turns trying to guess the plot of the movie, the, the basic plot of the movie. <laughs> we're really not going to know these this movies. This is a really good we, idea. We're going to assume that you know these and movies, And if you don't too, know I it, you join know. us. Okay. The, Go ahead. The, the big four film, Kayatino Janjanto. Chayando. Uh, Chayando. Yeah, this is not a biopic, right? This, <laughs> this isn't a story of, of uh, important film, historical event or anything, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, She's got a, what do you call weapons, it? Weapons. Yeah. Real weapons. They ain't fakes. Okay, they got, s- they got sent to future Indonesia and their job <laughs> was to get back to reality because future Indonesia was some sort of madhouse mess. So they fought their way through a bunch of Terminators and found their way back. So you're saying it's like Mad Max Indonesia? Mad so Max style. They came yeah. from the past, you mean? They, came, they, they, they got sent to the future okay. and then they're fighting their way back to, to warn okay. the present okay. of the problems of the future. Who's the leader of the pack? At least take uh, a guess. It's gotta be the guy on the bike no, like that. that. That's... That's you know I think that's deceptive. It's the alpha guy with the pistol on the on the our right. Okay. He oh. he's the leader. And, okay. And he plays yeah he's okay. Yeah. Yo. I think it's a heist movie. Mm-hmm. I think they're going around and they're 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 stealing things. You know I don't not not banks or anything like that. But they're mm-hmm. going into like the kabun day and they're taking all the tea <laughs> <laughs> and they're and they're selling it themselves and they have like bigger and bigger uh, heists that they're trying bigger uh, yeah. So that's what they're doing. What do you think, Ernest? Well, at least you got the who's the chief one, right? Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that's yeah. the chief one. So yeah. the the uh, none of you got it right, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. So the, <laughs> so the one on the top right is a cop, and the other four is a former assassins being hunted down by the mafia boss, and oh, they have yeah. to kill their way to survive. Uh-huh. But it. It's a com- it looks it's like a, a comedy, comedy. Okay, I was going to say, it looks comedy. like a comedy poster. It's an action poster. comedy. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. It's an action comedy. All right. Cool. I want to watch that. One more? Mm. Let's watch. Oh. oh. KKN. Well, I know what that means. Corrupsi, collusi, and nepotism. <laughs> no. <laughs> it used to be that. It used to be that. Wait, that's not a reference to the KKN no, that I know. No, that's not the that's w- just that's a different not the one. KKN. That's a different KKN. Oh, God, right. That is... <laughs> Killer Kitten Nusantara. <laughs> so it's about this kitten <laughs> that goes around the archipelago taking the form of different people and selling boxo. <laughs> Killer Kitten Nusantara. It's a horror movie. It's very, it's very scary. And it's uncut. It's uncut. Balloon okay. Sunat. Okay, well, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk soon, Art Joe. We've talked it way too much on this cast. Every episode. Okay, guys, it, 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 there's snakes. It's a horror movie. Yeah. Um, it's it's the goddess. It's it's Medusa, Indonesian Medusa. <laughs> Indonesian Medusa uh, is playing the role of anyone who looks into her eyes, which because uh, she's a beautiful woman, mm. uh, gets absolutely zapped. Mm. And turned into a stone, uh, like a Garuda stone. <laughs> Turns into nasi goreng. <laughs> How'd we go? 
Very yeah, nice. She's a, she's a, she's a, not, not, not like literally a Medusa, but she's, yeah, she's like a um, demonic figure with snake. Yep. Uh, I think you got it quite close. Mm. So KKN is a, what is the English of KKN? What is the English of KKN? KKN is where you go to study at the university and you have to spend some, some of your time to like actually do some real work. Mm. Oh. What do you call that? Like. Or practical. Internship, is ah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes some sort of internship. So it's like the intern. Ke KKN, kuliah kerja nyata di desa penari. So they go to do the intern project in this village and this village has like this really mysterious dancer. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Yeah. Worth watching. Out of those three, which would you recommend us watch first? Uh, Big Four, I'd say. Big Four. It's very fun. It's very fun. It's very funny. All right. Let's I'll do check it. it out. Get it out on Netflix. Have any of you guys watched watch any of my movies? Um, <coughs> we watch excerpts. And <laughs> I've, ar I've already. I've, I've you all, watch recaps of I, my movies? I, 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 I watched, <laughs> I've already exposed myself a minute one ago. Where you were with a, a lovely lady, and it, I, I think you were trying to impress her father by things that you were saying, and the father was. Uh, um, it sounds like a lot of movies. <laughs> you stood there very well, sheepishly, and you were very uh, trying to make the father. Impressed okay. by you, I don't know. Give us a suggestion of my movie. Yes, something, please. something that, oh. and I, I will. I'll watch it and then I'll tag you on Twitter. Actually, that's a great idea. <laughs> we watch a movie together and we uh, respond. Yeah, together. Together. We react to his. Movie. That's the thing is, it's hard to yeah, get into something. That's all right. But he, well, let's do a, a reaction of his first stand up in English. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that would be great. No, 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 no. We wouldn't do it to him. Wow. Oh my God. It's it? got to the end of this episode. It's been a great one. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a lot of fun. It's been nice. Show. Thank you. Um, yeah. Guys, as the usual, smash our like buttons and comment. Uh, tell us what you loved about the show. Tell us a few answers to the questions we've asked you. And of course, who else do you want to see on the show? Yeah. Definitely tell us as well. Guaya Barat. Guaya Barat. It's a very catchy name, though. It is, yeah. Who yeah. named it? You? Oh, I'm telling you. It's a very it's a comic genius. I it's came up with it. it was very alliterative and BB. And, and the Crocodile Dundee works with the title, or you, you were just having it the no, whole time? He always I've, has that. Always We're both from that. Uh, Crocodile. I'm Florida. He's Australia. Yeah. Really, it, it worked it on matched. so many levels when I yeah. when it came up. Anyways, that's it. Guys, take care. Woo!